we're so honored to be able to honor our inductees, and we're so pleased that family, friends, neighbors, parishioners, classmates are here to honor them with us. I hope you did justice to Mario's good cooking. That's home cooking here. At the Royals hat, and uh, he's our bistro down here, so this is uh, what we get every day. Uh, and if you believe that, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn that's going to be real quick. No, he's great, and uh, the bistro's great. We emphasize healthy food, uh, as you saw in the, uh, uh, in the offerings, and our students, uh, uh, that's part of our commitment to the healthy uh, campus and the, health, the commitment to health of the Wyandotte County. Is working on. You know, Wyandotte has uh, not the best record for health, uh, and we're trying to model at least uh, healthier living, help, help, healthier eating. So we uh, got some more left. So don't uh, don't leave it because I don't want to end up eating more than I need should, and that wouldn't be healthy. <laughs> I'm Monsignor Stuart Swedler. I'm the president, the new president still. This is my first year at Donnelly College, and I'm so pleased and happy to be with you all tonight as we celebrate Donnelly's 2015. Alumni Hall of Fame. This is our induction ceremony. I'd like to thank you all for coming to support our alumni. Let us take a moment to place ourselves in the presence of God and ask for his blessings. I thought it would be appropriate, given the biographies of our inductees, if uh, we prayed the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this point, I'd like to introduce Emily Buckley, our Vice President for Advancement, who uh, helped put together, was, uh, her staff was the lead to put together tonight's festivity. Emily? Five years 
And in 2011, he and Mary Jo started an endowed scholarship fund at Donnelly to benefit Native American students. Phil has been and continues to be a strong advocate for Donnelly College. At this time, with the help of Dan Brum, who himself is a 2014 Alumni Hall of Fame inductee and member of our Board of Trustees, I'd like to formally induct Phil into the 2015 Donnelly College Hall of Fame.
Diane credited, uh, credits both her Catholic school education and her parents, who regularly volunteered for instilling in her a sense of service. Even at a young age, Diane could see how serving the needs of others made a difference to members of the school and the community at large. It's a philosophy she embraced both personally and professionally, and one that she, still, she has instilled in her children and grandchildren. So at this time, I'd like to formally, by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and Dr. Diane into the 2015 Donnelly College Alumni Hall of Fame. Of course, 
uh, who uh, still is here uh, heading up our OIL program. Steve has been uh, a part-time a part -time faculty member here at Donnelly College since the early 1980s. In his spare time, he, he, he doesn't have much of that, but he gives, gives a lot, he volunteers for the Shepherd Center of KCC doing minor home repairs. At this time, by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Donnelly College, I'd like to formally induct Steve into the 2015 Donnelly College Alumni Hall of Fame. Uh, 
he was a longtime editor of the Eleven, the Archdiocese newspaper. He had pastoral duties and he taught a couple courses here at Donnelly. I, I had him for world religions. Father Wicky taught me about the beauty of religious diversity. He taught me that, yes, I can be grounded in my own faith and I can value the beauty in the faith of others. And that is stuck with me. Uh, Sister Sylvester, well, she was Sister Sylvester the first semester. <laughs> and she was Sister Elizabeth the second semester. <laughs> Something that. It, uh, remember now, this is 1968. And the fact that many nuns had not only changed their names over the semester break that was not the most confusing thing that happened in 1968. <laughs> Sister Elizabeth uh, taught me my first course in psychology. Uh, she taught me to appreciate and to be intrigued with individual diversity. I later went on to get a graduate degree in counseling psychology, and this opened up so many career opportunities for me. I got to work in community corrections, community mental health, youth development, even aging services. I got to work with adults with physical disabilities and even uh, from a social service perspective for a while I managed teams that did uh, minor home repair, weatherization, minor home rehab. I've been blessed with a, a very uh, varied career. When I was executive director of the Mental Health Association of Wyandotte County, I recruited Sister Elizabeth, who was still teaching here at the time, uh, to be on our board of directors, and, and she helped us start a number of programs, which I hope and believe uh, were of great value to the community. Uh, by far the largest of those was the Teen Connection Hotline, uh, Kansas City's uh, first 24-hour uh, crisis line for teenagers uh, for the whole metro area. We were pretty proud uh, to provide providing that service uh, from here in Wyandotte County for the entire metro area. Um, so many opportunities uh, opened up for me. I got appointed, as, as Monsignor said, to the Kansas City, Kansas Centennial Planning Commission. Look at me, Ma, I'm a commissioner. <laughs> it was great. And during that two-year planning process, um, leading up to celebrating our 100th birthday as a city, I got to know a lot of people who care for you very, very deeply about this community. I uh, got accepted into the very first class of Leadership 2000, as my senior mentioned, uh, which is this community's premier uh, civic leadership training course. If you, if you want to get more connected to this community, check out Leadership 2000, okay? Uh, I met some terrific people uh, in that process, in that first class. Uh, two people uh, stood out especially to me. Uh, way back then, I realized that they had a lot of uh, potential. Two of my classmates, uh, Susan Keim and Carol Marinovich. Well, I wonder whatever happened to them. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and I have, but I'll stop here. Oh, over the years, uh, my experience with Donnelly has come to mean uh, connecting to community. And once I got started with that, I guess I found it pretty difficult to stop. But uh, today, my volunteer work involves doing some minor home repair projects with Shepherd Center of Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, we could use some help. You do it yourselfers out there. We could use some help. Sometimes it's just as simple as changing the light bulb. You can do that. So call the Shepherd Center, please. Uh, and uh, I also uh, serve on the board of uh, Consensus, a small nonprofit with big ideas. Uh, working to improve citizen involvement in public policy decisions, and we're trying to raise the level of civility in uh, public discourse today. Uh, check out consensuskc.org, please. <coughs> I think that overall my experience at Donnelly has uh, helped me feed my soul. So uh, I know this is not a commencement address. <laughs> But it's the closest thing I'll ever get to get one. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll close with this advice. <laughs> advice. Be brave. Be kind. Fix the future. I have strategically left plenty for you to do. <laughs>
is Lonnie Scott, Donald in class of 1975, and a former Donald board member. Lonnie earned his bachelor's degree in business administration from the University of St. Mary in Leavenworth, Kansas, after transferring to Donnelly College. He went on to earn a master's degree in personal administration from Central Michigan University. During his career, he was a general manager for AT&T Small Business Division in the great city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where I was born, so I'm a fan. <laughs> also in the cities of Philadelphia, he was a uh, director of operations for Lucent Technologies in, uh, in New Jersey, a regional director for AT&T in Dallas and back here in Kansas City, vice president uh, for uh, Connective Customer Care in Wilmington, Delaware, and he recently retired as director of the Mid-American Minority Business Development Council. Lonnie is a former recipient of the AT&T National Diversity Award, a National Mentoring Award, the Kansas City Hometown Hero Award, the Black Achiever of the Year Award from the Southern Leadership Conference, and he's a lifetime member of the National Black MBA Association. Lonnie also served on our Board of Trustees here at Dunley College from 2007 to 2011. At this time, with the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Donnelly College, I'd like to formally induct Lonnie Scott into the 2015 Donnelly College. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. 
everybody, and congratulations to all our inductees. I want to point out our pictures here. I have the distinct pleasure every day to get to see these pictures. Uh, they're on the wall by the elevator, which is a great thing because uh, our students, as they're getting ready to go up, can see people who have risen up because of their Donnelly education. So it's a wonderful thing, and because, quite frankly, our elevators take a while. <laughs> to actually read the, uh, the Hall of Fame class. Formally, I'm supposed to say on behalf of the board, the faculty, the staff, the students, and alumni, and friends of Donnelly, I'd like to congratulate all of our inductees. I'd also like to thank all of you who have come, both from uh, near and far, to share in tonight's celebration. We look forward to honoring our alumni each year through our Alumni Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And as you can see, there's always great stories to be heard. Because this night is very special to us. It shows us that the work that God's entrusted to our care does bear fruit, as the scripture says, fruit that will last. If you're interested in giving an honor, and uh, giving a gift or an honor um, to, in honor of one of our inductees tonight, uh, of course, uh, this is my paid, paid uh, uh, introduction here, or, or uh, commercial, but please refer to the donation envelopes on various tables, or ask a Donnelly staff member to grab an envelope, write, write us a check, whatever, uh, and we'd be glad to, all these gifts will go to our Donnelly College of Alumni Hall of Fame Scholarship Fund, so it goes right back to our students. The plaques that uh, they have received uh, here on the table, we see these pictures. All this will be added to our Hall of Fame display at Donnelly. And we encourage you to visit our campus again to see our growing Alumni Hall of Fame. Finally, we invite each of you to attend our inspiring commencement ceremony this Saturday, May 9th at 4 p.m. at the Jack Reardon Convention Center in downtown KCK. Please uh, stay, we have some more drinks, we have uh, uh, some more uh, things to celebrate, but thank you again for joining us. This concludes a formal part of our evening presentation. God bless.